All right, hello everyone. I wanted to do a special uh, edition of standings. Uh, and this, uh, as I'm recording this, this is before the two games are played Sunday. All right, uh, as I noted right here, there are two games to be played. So the standings do not reflect uh, those two games. All right, but um, for the purpose of this video, I can go ahead and do this, uh, and I need to because uh, I don't have an opportunity to later uh, because we're working on it. But anyway, so tomorrow, remember, we're going to have game recaps on Spotify for the two games that are taking place today, Mortar City taking on Columbus and uh, Binghamton. Uh, battling the Watertown Wolves. All right. Uh, and that latter game, well, both games are very important uh, in regards to the playoff push. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, it's all in the Empire Division. Uh, Continental is pretty much wrapped up. Uh, as we look here, we see uh, Columbus, you know, leading, leading the way, 39 Four and three, 116 points. Their magic number is eight to clinch the division. That is two regulation wins plus an overtime win. Or you know, any kind of loss by Carolina, which, you know, Carolina right now is red hot. They're, they've won seven in a row. So um, they're doing their darndest to try and uh, keep pace. But when you have a winning percentage of 841, uh, it's hard to keep pace. So, yeah. Now, uh, the other thing to remember is that Columbus has three games in hand on Carolina. So those three games, you could get the eight points right there. Uh, so Carolina, I, I think you have to consider them as basically relegated to the two seed. All right. Which isn't bad. Uh, you're you're going to host a playoff series in the first round. Uh, you've played well with care uh, with with uh, with Columbus this year. So, you know, if if you're the Thunderbirds, you're in a good place. Um, you know, it'd be nice to win the division, but it you, you don't have to. It, the the onus isn't solely on that. All right, so. Um, yeah, so there's our top two spots in the Continental. And then you have Port Huron. Uh, still has a little ways to go if they want to hold off Mississippi for that third seed. Um, but it's like if you're Port Huron or Mississippi, it's kind of like pick your poison. Who do you want to take on, uh, the River Dragons or the Thunderbirds? Uh, yeah, neither is uh, an easy task. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I am sure that they are very glad to be able to be in the playoffs and to have a chance uh, because, you know, in a three-game series, you never know what could happen. So, anyway, uh, support here on 24-19-6, and 6, 72 points. Um, and uh, they've got uh, a little bit of a cushion now, 14 points between them and Mississippi. Now, Mississippi, likewise, has three games in hand on Port Huron. But uh, right now, Mississippi's sole focus is clinching that playoff spot. Their magic number is three, one regulation win. They are uh, 20, 23, and three for the 58 points. Uh, of course, last year they missed out on the playoffs, so this would be the first time the Sea Wolves have made the playoffs. So, um, yeah, there they go. That's their goal. Uh, two teams that you look at as probably going to be missing out. Uh, the first-year teams, uh, both uh, Blue Ridge Bobcats and Baton Rouge, um, because of games remaining, they are mathematically tied with potential right now. Uh, of course, Blue Ridge has the advantage uh, as far as points. But the nice thing about Baton Rouge is... Uh, of their nine remaining games, eight are at home. So there you go. And uh, it's always easier to play at home than it is on the road. So there we go. That wraps up the Continental Division. As we look at the Empire Division, I put Binghamton in green because 
they've locked their their spot and their seat in. Um, yeah, that's where they're going to finish. Um, yeah, first in the Empire. So 33, 7 and 7, 104 points. Of course, again, not factoring in tonight's game versus Watertown. Um, Motor City and Danbury, neck and neck. And you see uh, both of them have the fewest games remaining of any team uh, in the Fed. They both only have five games left. And then one of those games, Motor City is going to play today. So after today, they're only going to have the four left. Um, so that's going to be tough. Uh, but yeah, Motor City, uh, both teams have 29 wins. It's just a matter of one more regulation win for uh, for the Motor City Rockers. So they get the edge in points, 20, uh, 85 to 83. Uh, then there's the neck and neck race between Elmira and Watertown. Now, if Watertown should end up winning tonight against Binghamton, these two guys are all tied up, and then uh, it's it's a whole new ball game. So Elmira currently eighteen thirty and two with the fifty four points. Watertown sixteen twenty seven and five. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, for fifty one points. And the big key here is. Uh, two games in hand for Watertown. Of course, one game being played tonight. But here is the remaining schedule. And none of these opposing schedules are easy. So um, it, it's going to be really, really interesting. These Empire Division races are really going to go down right down to the wire. For Motor City, yep, they've got tonight in Columbus. And the next week against Columbus at home, um, and then you have Binghamton Black Bears coming into town, and then you have your home-and-home -home series ending the year against Port Huron. Three home games left for Motor City. For Danbury, uh, they also have three home games left. They have next week, they will be hosting Watertown, and then they travel to Binghamton for a pair, take on Elmira, and Binghamton at home to close out the year. So, yeah, the, the, I mean, it's it's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. But um, Danbury has won in Binghamton. As a matter of fact, the one regulation win that Danbury has against Binghamton this year is at Binghamton. Um, it wasn't at Danbury. So they can do it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Watertown, eight games left. Uh, of course, tonight they host Binghamton. Then next week they are at Danbury. Then there's the big three games, and I put them in black there. Um, they're at Elmira, and then they host Elmira twice. Those three games are going to go a long way in settling this race uh, and seeing who gets that final playoff bid. And then after that, um, they take on Binghamton uh, one more time, and then they travel. The, the, this is favorable for them. They travel to Blue Ridge to take on the Bobcats in Phil for the final two games. And it would be interesting to see if it, it comes down to that final weekend with um, a softer opponent. But again, remember, yeah, no, no game is a cinch uh, in this league. Elmira, six games left, and uh, the I think they have a pretty tough road to hoe. Uh, it's not an impossible, obviously, but uh, the next two are at home. Uh, they play Watertown, of course, and then Binghamton they host, but they have uh, four games in five days. Uh, Binghamton at Watertown, at Watertown, and at Danbury. That is tough. And then they finish the year at Binghamton. So um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, after these next two games, Elmira is done with home games, and they only have the two left, uh, whereas Watertown has four home games left. So um, I think that plays into their advantage. But... Um, head to head, Elmira has had a little bit more success than Watertown when those two teams face each other. So, uh, 
you know, it, it really is going to come down the wire. It's very exciting. It's uh, it's good to see that you know playoff races are going down right to the end. Um, last year, really, the only drama we had at the very end of the year was okay, who wins the Continental Division? Is it going to be Carolina or is it going to be Columbus? Um, this year, we've got you know a couple of really good playoff races going, uh, fight, uh, fighting for seeds, fighting for home ice, um, fighting for the chance to play in the playoffs. So very, very interesting year. And that's what our standings look like at this moment, uh, as of two 30 Sunday afternoon. And, uh, again, we will have game recaps tomorrow and I'm sure, uh, with the Binghamton Watertown game, that's going to, uh, play a prominent role in how we look towards next weekend. All right, so I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. And, uh, hey, comment down below. Who do you think is going to uh, end up in what place in the Empire? Uh, and do you think Carolina can catch Columbus? It would be tough, but it's not impossible. Uh, let me know. All right, thank you so much for watching. And we will talk to you tomorrow on Spotify. Have a great day.